What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation and on this episode of Tool Tuesday we are going to look at Rosetta Stone. So this is probably one of my favorite tool tracks and I've done an entire guitar lesson on this song if you guys haven't checked that out or want to check that out and I got a lot of requests and I always wanted to do the riff, right? The one bass line in the middle of the song where everything drops out and it's just the bass and the drums because it's a really awkward kind of feel or awkward timing. It's, you know, it's just a four or a quarter note pulse. And that's what I want to talk about. All right. So if you want to follow along, the tabs are on my Instagram at X Creation. And for those of you who support me on Patreon, you can find the PDFs and Guitar Pro files for this entire section. And this entire section from like the chug to the chug is one of my favorite musical parts the tool has written. And I'm just gonna be teaching the one baseline right now, but like I said, if you want those tabs, they're available through Patreon. So we are in a drop D tuning on our low string. Okay, and this riff, it's, like I said, it's a little awkward, try to follow the tabs and learn the groupings of the notes. Okay, the entire phrase is a phrase of say 15, right? And it's a quarter note pulse, so you can say that it's 15-4. Um, like I said, it's, it's in the entire phrase is 15 and I don't like trying to break it up in, in the like micro phrases or something like that. It doesn't work for me. All right. So melodically speaking, we're hitting a couple notes. We're hitting five on our D string, 
then three on our D string, and then six on our A string, and then three on our A string, and then you have right. So in the rhythm is on the the fifth fret, right? This G note of the fifth fret on our D string. Right, and it's good. Like I said, break it up in the chunks. That's the best way to do it. So with the first melodic note, we have right. And then we have two fives. And then after that three, it's kind of like one, two, and then the melody note. So it's one, and that's the way. If you're having a hard time feeling this, that's the best way to kind of go about learning this whole thing. It's just learning the, the small little groups. You either have or slower notes. Okay, so you have. And then before the three, it's two groups of five. And then you have a quick sixteenth note. So I'll try to play it really slow, and it's, again, it's, it's hard to just kind of play two little groups of five, and then one long note, and then two quick notes. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Look at the tabs, and try to just group them how you hear them. kind of the best way to go about it. So like I said, the tabs are available on my Instagram. It'll just be the riff, okay? And if you want the full section that I played in the intro of the song, you can get that on, on Patreon, okay? Tag me in your post, tag me in your performance, leave some comments down below what you'd like to see in some upcoming School Tuesdays. And as always, let me know what you come up with. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.